Hi my lovelies, it's Attila coming to you with a requested uh, tutorial or process video and uh, so here I am at the kitchen bench with my cuppa <laughs> and uh, just about to start. So what I've done, I've prepared everything so as to make the video not so um, arduously long and so we've just got two pieces of paper here because there was two types and these were just um, some die cuts so that I could hide part of the, the paper clip on the back. So this was the the paper um, pad that I got in. It was Rosie Studio here in Australia. So there's some pages there with some small prints. So it's ideal for small little projects. The next part of the the, the little mini envelope was the embellishment, and we'll get back to that after I've done this. So to start off with the measurements are basically um, 7 centimetres square or, I'm an inch girl, <laughs> um, 2 and 3 quarters, okay. Now bearing in mind it doesn't have to be perfect because it's the way of the fold. Um, initially I'd used my guillotine and it wasn't seen to be cutting square but I, I would compromise by the folding. So it's a quite easy, um, quite easier project. So I've just got some voles here. Now you can get a mat with some grid lines and things like that, or just play it by, um, yeah, just play it by ear. <laughs> just do it by sight. Um, you know, there's no right or wrong um, as long as when you get the folds in. Um, where am I here? Here we go. Um, I'm, I'm going to be upside down, I know it, <laughs> but I'll turn the, the video up the right way in the, the photo editing program. Now, I don't know if you can see, there's just a tiny little overhang. Now, I don't have my scissors with me, I should be prepared. Just one moment. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Okay, so now we have scissors. Now, you don't need anything special, you don't need an envelope um, cutting board or anything else like that. So. There you go. I've just cut that tiny little piece off, which obviously you can see the little um, there. But once you're actually gluing it down, you're not going to see that. And on my one, previous ones, I actually just turned that tip down to make it like that. So we'll go ahead and now you can use your score tape. You can use any sorts of glue. And I didn't bother gluing, oh actually, yes I did. <laughs> um, now watch, oh, here we go. Usually it takes brute force to, and just hold it down. Now I think what I did was I grabbed a, I had a, a bit of cardboard that I'd stick there so it wouldn't um, stick to the, to the, to the back. There we go. Not wise using a sticky note. <laughs> Let's get something out. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to stick that down there. And just to prevent it from sticking to itself. Because you don't need much glue. Okay. I wouldn't mind trying that art glitter glue and see how good it is, but it's so expensive in Australia. Okay, so... And just hold it for a minute, depending on... I use PVA glue, um, because, you know, it glue, it's, it's, it's a strong glue for timber, so if it can glue timber, uh, and paper's made from timber, then it can glue um, timber and hold... Uh, tim timber, it can glue... <laughs> glue, 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 glue. It can glue paper and hold it. So, okay. So there we go. So we've got that. There we go with that one. Now that can be left as the open. So now I'll show you how to do the paper clip. Now if you can imagine the paper clip glued onto that. Where's the other one? Okay, here we go. This one's a bit wonky. Okay. 
Now, depending on whether you want how far, if you want the paper clip to go all the way across. Well, that's my rescue cap, um, which I just use a small one, small side. So, okay. So what I do is I get a die cut or whatever type of um, you just want to just cut a square and just glue it on there. And I didn't put the glue gun on. But as the glue gun's heading up, we'll start with this one. So this one was a different size. This one was just under three inches, so I'm not quite sure how you... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six... Two and seven eighths. And just over two and a half. So that's not quite square, but we'll show you how we do the envelope with that. Okay, so all we're doing is just finding a, it doesn't have to be a middle point because you create the middle point with the next fold. So I usually just line up here. So you don't need expensive um, tools or anything else like that. So there we go. So we've basically got a, an even top. So see how that's wonky? and that's okay. So we'll use that as the top, the closure. Okay. Now bear in mind, <laughs> that's quite a long one, so we'll keep it that way. But if you don't want it like that, so don't waste your paper because we're going to correct that. Okay, so then we go, so it, it does look sort of long and narrow and you can create a, a square one, so if you wanted to be more of a square type, do your fold and then make it square. Okay, now because we're doing the fold down one, all I do so it's just work, you know, as, as we go along, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect and if it's not perfect, we make it as close to perfect. Okay, here can we do this one? Yeah. So it's just like anything, you know, you're working on it. Oh, it <laughs> looks like a crooked house. Okay. So you just adjust as you go along. If you don't have any, like, cutting tools or measurements or things like that, it's, you know, just like origami, it's just a folding technique. So once you once you play around with the folds, and bearing in mind, you know, that once it's secure and um, all glued down, we're going to be embellishing it, you know, so this is the next step. So I'm just waiting for the glue gun to heat up. Not quite yet. So we'll go ahead and glue that down. And you can see how it's all... Um, disjointed. So if you're not a straight cutter um, or don't have the equipment and it comes out wonky, you know, don't um, don't fear because you can adjust it as you go along. So once you do your, your folds, you know, then you can work it all out. So now it's up to you. Yeah, okay, that one's a better one. So, okay. It's just trial and error, you know. I mean, sometimes, um, you know, it's just making an envelope out of a scrap bit of paper. And, you know, if it's not cut directly to the right size, as you can see, you know, and where there's a will is a way, you know, once that's embellished, you know, it'll be a cute little envelope, mini envelope. So, you know, waste not, what not. So... So we've even got that point right in the middle there, so I didn't actually worry about folding it down. Okay, so we'll get it over there. Copy time. We've had major storms the last two days and a lot of rain, and <laughs> we've been praying for rain. Yeah. It's either all or nothing in Ballina. <laughs> um, so the measurement of the envelope um, ends up being just over one and a half. And again, just over one and a half. 
So we've now got a squarish envelope <laughs> out of a mismatched um, odd shape size because it wasn't completely square. Okay, let's see if our glue gun is hot. Okay, we'll try it anyway. Okay, come on. Okay, so all I do is I put the paper clip on, put your hot glue. Now be bearing in mind this is a hot, hot glue gun, so you don't want to burn yourself. That is hot. <laughs> So then you leave your little piece out. Now you don't have to leave it that far out, but depending on um, your pages in your journal as to how far when you've got it on the page. Okay, can we demonstrate here? Okay. And that way you can choose which side you want it on. I just obviously just <laughs> Okay. Because I'm working upside down. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. So that's pushing it right in. So if you want it to the page, there we go, <coughs> to hanging out. Okay. We may as well do the other clip. Just put that aside. I'm all thumbs this morning. I thought I'll get up bright and early, cheerful. <laughs> um, listen to the rain. It's absolutely pouring here but it's beautiful okay so you get your paper clip and you choose which way you want it whether you want the large you know or the small area so I like the small um, part and disguising the back the big so I, I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way with the, the paper clips um, I just do it Yo. Okay. That was hot. <laughs> um, had several burns from hot hot glue. <coughs> now that's got a bit of overhang. You can either cut that or just leave it as is. Okay. So now we have the two. Now I should have actually put it on the other side so you can actually see, you can, you know, put it on the other side of the page. So just bearing in mind, so this one's the actual close, close, so you can see there. So I might actually just trim that. No. My rescue cat. No. And she's naughty. Mishka. No. You coming to say hello to everybody? She's so timid. But she's smart. When the phone rings, she comes and meows at me. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so there we go. We've got two little en mini envelopes. Spider webs. Now, to embellish them, I'll just put that there and a bit of white paper. I was going to make this video quick. <laughs> okay. Now, years ago we were doing various different, you know, altered uh, mouth traps, altered paint brushes, altered corks, you name it. And we used to get junk jewellery to make the dangles, you know, pretty little things. So I have a, a mountain of it. This is just um, one of the boxes that I have to come across. I'll keep that out actually, I need that. And um, so just broken down jewellery, some of the op shops actually sell them in big gigantic bags. You know, so um, I don't have that luxury here in Bali at the moment. It was when I used to go down to Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne has got great op shops. You know, like even just little charms like that. You can hang them from, you know, your junk journals. So never, you know, sort of miss an opportunity where you can get broken jewellery. You know, ask all your friends or <laughs> grandparents or um, anybody for breaking jelly. These were just a couple from something. So 
So we might use, just use them for um, demonstration sake. This was an earring that um, the previous ones that I showed had hanging down and that's what I actually used on the little mini envelopes that I showed you in the, the picture. So there's still a couple of little dangly things that you can still use, you know, so and with the chain I've got various different types of chain and you know I use it to, to lengthen the charms if you want them to really hang hang down. So you've got a fine so you can take that apart and then just use it to sort of like if you want your dangle to hang, let's do it, it the finding's not closed, so, okay, so, you've got a bit of chain there, no, come off, anyway, um, that's another video, but there's lots of different dangles that you can use, actually I might use that one, because it's already got a jump ring on it, so, we'll cheat, <laughs> Uh, okay, so you know there's lots of different things you know that you can use. You know that would look nice on a, a purple journal, lavender journal. So you know it's just knowing what to look for and what to save, and you know nothing goes to waste because you can always add, subtract, uh, alter, change, paint color. So we're going to use this one. I did have a couple of jump rings out before and they are so tiny but I'm just going to use this one here. Now there's plenty of tutorials on how to make little dangles and so I won't bore you with a long video. I'm going to find the opening. Now when you're opening jump rings it's always side to side. Oh, where is it? I've got glasses on, I still can't see. <laughs> where are we? Okay, here we go. Alright, so what we do is I'm just using one tool to close it up. So there you've got your pretty dangle. That one sticks quite out. Now you don't have to have them sticking sticking out far, but I'm just sort of thinking like the pages in a book. Um, I did have a journal here just before. Okay, so when I embellish them, I've got all these sticker sheets here. I'm just wary of the time because a lot of people don't like long videos. So I just used a couple out of there. Uh, just to complement the colour in there, so what's that one together? Well, use the together one because I'll show you why. Okay, so we'll just put that there for the moment. It's the sticky stickers, but I'll be putting glue underneath there. I did have one with like two butterflies together. And I bet you I can't find it for the purpose of the video. There we go. No, I can't. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick two little butterflies down here. We'll cut this down. Now you don't have to cut them down. It's just that I'm, I do it for... So it's not, you know, wasting too much of the paper. Now even though these are sticker, uh, sticker sheets, I always put a bit of glue because I've had these for about 20 years now so yeah 2000, 2001 I think 
So it just goes to show you that, you know, the type of, um, the type of, you know, sort of artwork that was around at that time 20 years ago and that was vintage. Okay, so... I may need to, to put glue under those butterflies, I think. Okay, so there you go. You've got your open one and you've got your closed one. Now with the closed one, <coughs> we'll just do this for, for showing, show sake. Okay. When I put um, the border on, I was able to just glue the sides so that I had a little tuck spot. Okay, so I may as well do that. Okay. Now if you want to remove the stickiness in it, just use talcum powder or baby powder. I'm going to fill my bottle up, it's getting really low. Okay. So make sure your flaps down when you're gluing so that it holds it in place and then you know that it's going to tuck in. So we have one dangle on there, the word together. <coughs> We've got the border there. So what can we put there? Okay. Just put a crown. The crown. And we'll just put the word beautiful. Here comes the thunder. Now I'm not going to cut that down. Now you can embellish them any way you like. Um, so I'm just showing you that it doesn't matter the size of the paper, it doesn't have to be square. Um, if your cutter doesn't cut square <laughs> or you can't cut square, um, you can adjust as you go along. So we're just going to find something to put in that open envelope. I think I actually put, let's find something with the same similar colour, the red on it. I bet you've used some white. Okay, no we haven't. I love the Santa Rain. I just wish I had a tin roof. <laughs> uh, okay, and so we'll put, let's tip it in there. This video is going to be half up and down. Okay, has it stuck? I think it may have stuck. Okay. okay so we've just got something there, and you can journal on the back of that. Um, what's this ticket say? Loving you is like magic. Beautiful you. We can do things, something like that. Now you can ink, you know, obviously ink these up. Um, and there you go. So it's fairly easy. So if you don't know how to make um, dangles, just look for jewellery and, you know, take it apart. And, and that way, you know, You've, you've got an embellishment there and, you know, with jump rings, you know, I do have these tools and it was a while before I acquired tools like these and I just waited until, you know, the shop might have had a discount or a special. Um, you can order them online um, really cheap, um, but you have to wait. And uh, th these are, I haven't used these for a long time, so they went rusty. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just a tip and a trick for rusty tools when you don't use them. I live in a beachy area so everything, you know, does go rusty. Uh, vinegar. Now that's taken all that rust off. 
so that's what it looks like. <laughs> Cocktail of vinegar. Um, but it's taken all the rust off all my tools. So vinegar is an amazing um, substance. So anyway ladies, I think that um, should suffice as far as, you know, how to make the miniature paper clip envelopes. Um, I'm not quite sure if you don't have a glue gun, um, what you could use, C6000 possibly, um, what's that other craft glue that's really expensive? It's in a pink bottle. <laughs> um, but just have a look at your glues and see whether they, they glue to metal. And I just use the hot glue gun because it's quick, fast and, and convenient for me. So as you can see, they're two different sizes of little envelopes. But when they're actually on a... Where are we? <laughs> okay. I should have demonstrated, you know, for each side. Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so there's your dangle. So, okay ladies, um, and thanks very much for asking for the tutorial. There's probably, you know, hundreds of videos out there and I just feel honoured that um, I was able to do this for you and hope that you can understand and, and follow along. But also realise that, you know, if everything is wiggly wonky, not to worry. The folds, when you're folding, you can correct and adjust and, and cut. So unless you've got an envelope uh, cutting die or...